Now, as you've seen from this weekend in Las Vegas, Formula One is one of the most glamorous sports in the world. But what is the future for those who want to make it on and off the track? One of those trying to help is Jai Campbell Brennan, the vice chair of the organisation driven by us. It's the first ethnic minority club to be approved by Motorsport UK and focuses on science, technology, engineering and mathematics. Well, Jai joins us now from central London. Very good morning to you, Jai. Just tell us what's going on today. Good morning. Um, yeah, we're down at Team Sport in, uh, in London, South London, and we've just got a bit of an event going on for some kids from local areas. Um, it's basically just about giving them some uh, inspiration to follow a career into motorsport. Diversity in motorsport is something that Lewis Hamilton in particular is, is naturally incredibly passionate about. We know about Mission 44. How does Driven by Us fit in with what's already going on? Yeah, I think it fits in quite nicely, actually. Um, so we're all on the same mission, and that is to increase the participation of underprivileged and young black people into motorsport. Um, so we're covering the engineering point, uh, you know, the engineering side of things specifically. But yeah, it's uh, you know, we're all on the same mission, so all our efforts are, are best placed together. Yeah, when you say that you're on the same mission and the efforts are best placed together, whose responsibility is it to increase the diversity? Does it come down to the government? Does it come down to governing bodies? What would you say? Um, I think partly it's a joint effort. I think um, as engineers, you know, Driven by us is mostly engineers. I think we have a responsibility to look behind us and uh, help to open the doors and uh, be representation and role models for those that are coming behind us. And um, yeah, I think the governing body has uh, a key part to play in that in certain initiatives in you know, raising the, the publicity uh, um, around it and the public image of motorsport to uh, groups that haven't previously been touched. It's not the only sport that we would say this about, but it can be an expensive one to access. How do you sort of navigate that and make sure it's accessible for the widest spectrum of the community possible? All right, so it's expensive for drivers, for sure. Engineering has less of a financial barrier. Um, so, you know, uh, the degrees are expensive for anyone. So I know there are certain programs that are helping to, um, you know, support people through degrees. Uh, there's also apprenticeships, which is um, another way of getting into the technical side of motorsport. Uh, you know, as mechanics and technicians. Um, so, yeah, there, there's a range of initiatives going on. Um, but, yeah, the, the, the price of being a driver is, uh, that's definitely a, something that needs some work. Let's talk about some of the landmark moments then. Stephanie Travers, who at the time I think was a trackside fluid engineer, the first black woman to stand on an F1 podium, taking the Mercedes Constructors Trophy three years ago. What are the other moments, the other milestones that you're particularly proud of in, in the world of motorsport? Um, well, just the fact that Driven By Us exists is a, a great milestone. You know, this, uh, this is a, a new thing we, we uh, kind of formed earlier this year. Um, but you've also got Mission 44, which was um, started and funded by Lewis Hamilton as a result of the report he commissioned. So I think there's, um, you know, it's gathering momentum. Um, and uh, representation and the achievements are only going to increase over the coming months, years. And, yeah, it's a great time for the sport, I think. And you talked about the range of initiatives as well. Just tell us a little bit about the, the club volunteers and what they've been doing, the activations you're involved in there. Yeah, so that's partly what we're doing today. Um, and one of the, the key parts of Driven Bass is that we want to engage with kids and um, the best way to do that is to, you know, give them things to see, feel and, and touch. Um, and yeah, that's um, a key part of what we're doing. So today we've got a range of activities uh, to touch on the different aspects of motorsport and just drive some, um, yeah, drive some inspiration to uh, engage with kids at key points of their career and, um, you know, steer them towards the path in, in STEM um, through the platform of motorsport. So I hope it goes really well today. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much indeed for your time this morning. Thank you. Good to chat.